Backstage, the show where we sit down with local artists and international artists and find out what's going on in their lives and in their careers. On Channel 82, where Bermuda shines through. I'm Mr. Magic, and welcome to another edition of Backstage. My guest today may not be a household name to most of you, but by the time this interview is over, you will never forget him. He's been in movies, he's been on stage singing, and uh, he's just a good, well-rounded person. Today, I want you to welcome to Backstage the gentleman known as Big Will. How are you doing, sir? Mr. Magic, it's a pleasure to be here. Well, thank you. It's a, it is a pleasure to have you here. And uh, as I just discussed, uh, you got your hands into a lot of different things uh, in the world of entertainment. And again, people look at you right now, it's like, who is that guy? Where have I seen him before? Well, where have they seen you before? Well, I was involved with, um, well, I am still involved with uh, Close Encounters. That's my theatrical um, company along with Kevin Deal, Gregory Wade, and uh, Aston Rollins. Okay. We've been around since uh, 35 years now. Uh, yeah, 35 years. That recalls a movie that was done about that long ago. <laughs> well, we, we, well, actually, we've done two. Um, one is called Crimson and Go. Yes. It was during the uh, Bruce Lee saga. I do recall Where everybody that. was kicking and punching and pretending as if they were Bruce Lee. That's when Rosebank used to be around. Yes, and, yes, uh, folks, yes. For those of yes. you that don't know Rosebank, that's where the Bank of Butterfield is right now. <laughs> that was the <laughs> yes, Rosebank yes, Vita, yes. where a lot of great entertainment took place, uh, as they say, back in the day. And I, I do remember that movie very well. Yeah. So uh, also with movies, uh, you have singing as well. Yeah, come on, come on, you're singing. Yes, okay, well, one, yes, of, one of your top yes, songs is Pray. Yes. Uh, the yes, video is out on YouTube. Yes. Uh, your song's been playing on the radio quite often. Yes. You know, uh, help being produced by uh, Marker T yes. and uh, Domestic uh, Majestic, Majestic Dominion. Dominion. Yes. Okay, so how was that for you? I mean, because you've always been a person that did sing, but you were never really out front like that. True. Um, I used to do dub plates way back. I've done them with Ninja Man, Peter Metro, um, Daddy Screw. Um, Nada Runks, Trevor Sparks, it's, it's quite a few people that I've worked with in doing dub plates and uh, being a part of productions in Jamaica. Okay. So it was a natural progression for me to actually end up singing because I, 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 I kept at it and it was a craft that I enjoyed doing. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, I'm, I'm doing it on a personal level because actually I helped produce yes. your music video. My very first, very first, first music video. Yes, yes, I remember, I recall that. Yes. And, and you were a lot calmer than you are now. I'm going to say that straight <laughs> up front, okay? <laughs> okay, you know, okay. Uh, I enjoy doing that and we utilize locations here around Bermuda uh, yes. to, to shoot this and it's come very well. And, and again, so being your first, how was that for you? That answered it. That answered it right there. <laughs> it was breathtaking, no, but um, more so uh, when you're into entertainment, you look for people's reactions. Mm -hmm. And what I did see was when people in Jamaica and around the world started seeing it, and I, I started getting all these tremendous hits. And I was saying to myself, wow, this is powerful. Um, media is uh, essential in marketing. Yeah. It's also essential in portraying the artists for who they really are. And I believe your first um, video that you've done for me actually done that. Thank you. Oh, no, you're very welcome. I, I enjoy doing it myself. Yes. It's quite a pleasure. So you, you've done this. Now, I, I had made a joke one time, okay, yes. okay. in regards to you, you know, because I mean, okay. we're friends and okay. I know this. How was your trip to Japan? <laughs> <laughs> well, funny you said that. Um, it's with, with the music, uh, my music in particular is starting to hit different markets. Mm -hmm. um, Prey just took off. It, um, it's going around the world. Yeah, yeah, great. And um, it's really kicked. And one of the places where it's really picking up is Japan. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, I knew about this. Anyway, and, and I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm so yes. glad that it's done this, that mm -hmm. as a Bermudian artist, because People have often said, you know, if you're, you're going to be an entertainer in Bermuda, you can only go as far as some city of St. George's. That no longer is true. I, I can say that may have been true some years yes. ago, many years ago, that that was the area where you actually perform. I mean, the Gene Steeds, the Pinky yes. Steeds, and, and so yes. forth, they have traveled overseas and gone yes. and, and, and taken Bermuda with them as ambassadors. Yes. Now, with the world of the Internet and, and the way of technology, you are no longer just in these 23 square miles. So you true. have gone beyond that. So that is a great plus nowadays for that. Now, you just didn't do this off a of whim, and you're also not just a person that's really nearly doing this. Right. You've had to get producers. You've had to get uh, registrations. You've yes. had to get rights and all that. Yes. How do you go about doing those things? 
first of all, um, most people are associated with or know about ASAP. Yes. Uh, but that's the American um, version. You got a lot of American artists who are basically tied to that. I am tied to PRS. And uh, that is the British version of the ASAP. Um, it's a lot of paperwork that you have to do. But if, if you're really serious about being a registered artist, in other words, you get your royalties, you get your rights, you have someone who's actually looking out for your benefit, mm -hmm. then it's, it's, it's worth it. Um, the unfortunate thing in Bermuda is that we have a lot of good artists, but they still want to do things to obey and think that some big producer is going to come in, recognize them, scoop them up, and just set them up. No. The stage you have to be at now is that you register yourself, you invest, actually, you inv it comes simply down to this. Investing you invest in, 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 in your future. Yeah. And if it's, it's very essential that you do that. Well, there's a phrase that I had spoken with someone uh, some time ago that says, and I take this, Kevin Hart says this, everyone wants to be a star, but mm. no one wants to put the work in. Yes. You know, and, and on that note, uh, we'll be back right after this. We'll be talking more with Big Will and uh, where he's going uh, from this point. We'll be right back right after this. Come back to Backstage. <laughs>